Hallelujah. Amen. And it shall be said in that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. For in this mountain shall the hand of the Lord rest, and the mountain shall be troubled down under him. Hallelujah. Even as the trust is troubled down on the most of him. And he shall spread forth his hands in the midst of them, as he that swimmeth spreadeth forth his hands to swim. And he shall bring down their bread together with the spoils of their hands. Verse 12 will take it together. And the fortress of the high form of thy world shall he bring down. Lay low and bring to the ground. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. We are blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. It's time for our offering. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. And here again to collect your money. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands into our pockets, your cards, your wallets, whatever your money is kept. Bring it out and give it to God. Or even if it's dead, you may just use it. So we're going to be, we're going to be giving our offering on God this morning. Let us pray over the offering. Our Father and our, our God, we appreciate you once again this morning. Thank you because out of all the good to us, we brought this little to appreciate you. But I will say that exalted the God in Jesus' name. Father, we have brought our offering this morning. Let our offering and ourselves be acceptable unto you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let our offerings come unto you as a sweet smelling tower in the name of Jesus. Amen. God, as we give our price and our offering, God, we bring you the ground for our sins in Jesus' name. Amen. Help us to bring more next week in Jesus' name. Amen. And for those that have not to give, Father, we pray that you bless them, that they can also come and give unto you next time in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for answering our prayers. For in Jesus' name, Name we are praying. Hey, hey. so let's praise God with this song as we as we drop our offering. Praise is the Lord of my soul. This is the day I say. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Praise the Praise is the Lord. Praise is the Lord of my soul. Hallelujah. This is the day I say. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord of my soul. Hallelujah, this is the day I say. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Happy Sunday. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. It is good to be in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. For his grace and his worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Every Sunday. Hallelujah. Wow. It is an honor again to be in the house of the Lord. And it's so to share little things that God laid in my heart. But before I go, I saw something that is in my mind that I would love to share it. I don't know the lyrics, but you help me. <laughs> but it just came to my mind. I just put the lyrics away. That is, Oh, Nisha, Yanu, you are God of all surrounders. I've tasted all of your power. Oh, Nisha, Yanu. You have shown me so much mercy, much more than I deserve. Oh, Nisha, oh, Nisha, yeah, thank you. You are the God of all so much. Yes, Lord Jesus. I taste it all the power. Yeah. 
Adonai Elohim. Lord, we bow down for who your name, your name is. You are the King of Kings, the Lion of Judah. You are behind the creation of everything that you wanted as your plan. And it was fulfilled by your word, Eshadai. That is why we are here today to say you are God. That is why we are here to say thank you, Holy Spirit. That is why we are here to serve you because we have no other way but you, O oh Lord. We are here to contain the power inside of us to be able to move in our dominion of what you want us to be, Holy Spirit. Lord, let your power, the ability of who you are to dwell in us this morning in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, as you want to use this body, Father, Lord, bring everything in this body down and let your glory, my soul, connect it with you to bring the voice of your glory out to your people in the name of Jesus. Put every human being feeling down by your word, O Lord. Let your own words speak as a child to this mouth, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. And bless every soul that will hear the voice through this body, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. And let your name be glorified because of who you are. In Jesus' name we are praying. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank God for this amazing Sunday again. Uh, and I thank God that we, we are strong in this world. We are strong in, the, in good earth by his power. It's not by my power, but by his mighty. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You. I'll be talking about the mystery of human being. At the same time, is the mystery of human being life, which is the purpose of man's assistance. I'm going to repeat again. I'll be talking about the mystery of human being, the mystery behind human being, which is the mystery of human's life, a man's life, which is also the purpose of man's assistance, man's assistance on this life. But to God be the glory that, that he helped us to be able to understand the fullness of his direction or the questions that we always ask ourselves. Many people demand this question, why are we here on this earth? What are the purpose of we living on this earth? Hallelujah. I know many of us, in a, maybe in a separate times, we still wonder, why am I here? Because of the situation that we are going through, because of what is surrounding us, we are asking, why am I here on this planet? Why is it that I found myself in this planet? Hallelujah. But today, God has given us this little understanding. I won't say full understanding, but I will say by His grace, he has given us the understanding to be able to understand I mean, to, to answer this question. So before I go forward in this powerful message, I want you all to understand that you are made as this image of God. The have ability to know things of the spirit. Be you are part of him, as the book of Genesis tells us about the creation. But this is deeper than what we may think. The Bible tells us in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse uh, 26 to 20. And it said, and God said, let us make a man in our own image after his likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. And over the fold of the earth. And over every castle. And all over the earth. And, all, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. And verse 27 says, So God created a man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him male and female. Created he them. I want us to look at all those words. Him, them, his own image. And his likeness of who God is. Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah. So the book of Genesis tells us about the creation but it's deeper than that. There's a lot of question behind it. There's a lot of contest behind it. But we need to come higher as John was able to, to come higher. To be able to communicate with God. To be able to connect with God. To be able to be able to reveal what is about to come on the earth for, uh, to him. So the whole world of God is beyond human understanding on its own. I don't know if, if you are not getting me, let me do I can reverse anytime you want me to reverse back. Then you can get the full understanding of the world. And I know many people have been wondering with a different 
unanswered question that is their mind. He created them, them him and uh, in him, male and female. Which is a question mark when he said he created them male and female, which is his own image and likeness. <laughs> it is his own image and his likeness. Him. He created them male and female, which is the own God himself image. So when you look at male, he said he created male and female. Male represent a man form as a present being, and female represent women on the earth. So God has the ability of combining himself as one being that have the attributes of male and female. We have gone so far with this message. Thank you, Jesus. So, so God has the ability of male and female in Him. What does man does? What does man have? Imagine that. We're going to understand this together. What does in a man and what does in a female? That in the combination of it, it makes Adam. But a human being, a being, a just single person, he created Adam, one body that have this attribute of God, likeness of God, the image of God. Male and female, he created them. I know that many of this kind of world does not express uh, deeply in the churches. That's why we have many questions. We read it, it's beyond, I'm so sorry, it's beyond uh, uh, theologians alone. It's needed God to reveal the mystery behind it to us so that we could understand who is our God is. Many of us may be asking, what is my purpose of life? Why am I here as a human being? But I come in the name of Jesus. You are, if you allow me to be able to get up with you in this wisdom of God, you will understand the ominous science of who God is. It is part of this mystery of creation. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. When you talk about Elohim in the great master, is the great master of everything. To answer this question, we have to understand, we have to understand the mystery behind human existence or human beings life. All was categorized in a six major key. All was categorized in a six major key. One of the key is God's plan itself. What God plan itself, his desire, what he wants. Elohim desired to express himself through man, Adam, that he created. When you look at the word Adam's, I will always say it's contribution and uh, contains of male and female. So when somebody say I'm Adam, I will say, yes, you are Adam who contain man and woman. In other words, when we look at the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 29, I think I have to use my phone. It's easy to check the phone for the next day. But I love Bible. But if you can help me as well, please. Romans chapter. We have a lot of Bible verses. Chapter 8, verse 29. Romans chapter 8, verse. Uh, for whom he did foreknow. Yes. He also did. Did predestinate. Look at it. To conform to the image of his son. That's it. That he might be the firstborn among many. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You can, do you get what the man of God just right now? For whom he did for snow, he also did predestinate. So to be confirmed to the image of his son, and that he might be the firstborn among what? Many children. Many children. <laughs> God has his plan. And one of the key measures of our creation of we being on the earth is about God's plan. So he has the plan for this reason. He created a man in his own image as we just read in the book of Genesis chapter 1. And when we look at the second Corinthians chapter 4 verse 7, just as this globe is made, so in the image of a hand of cotton, 
a cutting hand. So also a man made in the image of God to contain God. By receiving God as his contest, man can express God. Look at that. Man can express God. Second Corinthians chapter 4 verse 7. If you can go there, I just overlooked that, but you can write it down. But we have this treasure in any verses. Amen. That the excellence of the power may be of God yes. and not of us. Look at that. God bless us. The second key. Hallelujah. God expressed himself. So the first key is God's plan. The second one is man, curating a man. He is a man to fulfill his own agenda. So God wants to fulfill his own agenda. God made a man as a vessel, as he said in the book of Romans chapter 9, verse 29. I'm just going to write, I want you to write it down that I will not go to the reading. Romans chapter 9, verse, 20, uh, verse 21 to 24. Which has the three parts of the body. If the, in that Romans, God was talking about the soul and the uh, uh, soul, the spirit and the body. And also uh, First uh, Thessalonians verse five twenty three. You can write it down as well. But if you want us to read, we can read. He was talking about the soul and the spirit and the body at the same time. And the very God of peace sanctify you holy. Yes. And I pray God the whole spirit and soul and body to preserve them blessed. Yes. After the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Look at that. Sorry? Yeah. Second. Second, please. Second. No, 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 sorry. First, I went somewhere again. Uh, first, 523. The body contains and receives things of physical realm. Which is the body and the spirit. I'm gonna talk about the spirit. Do you want to read it or should I okay? Okay. In there it was talking about the kind of what we have, which the body and the spirit are there. So the body contains and receives things of the physical realm. So the soul is the mental faculty that contains and receives the things of physical psychological realm. The spirit received from God Himself. Hallelujah. You want me to go back again to yeah. say it? <laughs> the body con contact and receive things of physical realm. The soul is the mental faculty contact and receive things of the psychological realm. Well, the spirit received from God himself through the soul. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord Jesus. I want us to learn this. I don't want to rush it. In the book of John, chapter 4, verse 24. Say, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in the spirit and in truth. God is a spirit, and those who worship him must worship him in the spirit and in truth. There's another verse that says, God is not pleased with the human <laughs> who does not worship him in the spirit. I love it. So human being was not only created to contain food in his stomach or just knowledge in his mind, but to contain God in the spirit. As it said in the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 18. Let me go get that. We have a lot of every verses. I love it. That's why I put it there. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 18. But there will be a time I'm not going to go there, but I just wanted to have the and idea. And be not drunk with wine. Yes. Bearing in his essence, yes, of the filled with the spirit. Look at that. We have to live in the spirit, we have to come in the spirit. So, number thought of unlocking this key is the falling of man. He has a plan, he created a man, 
Now the falling of man. He knows that man is going to fall. The falling of man is one of the key. For a man to receive God as life or before his spirit, sin entered into man as the book of Romans chapter 5 verse 12 says. Sin deadly is spirit. Sin killed the spirit of a man. Hallelujah. He killed the spirit of a man through Adam and Eve. He denied them the connection with God. So he made them to become an enemy of God in his mind. When we look at the Colossians chapter 1 verse 21, let me quickly read it. Colossians chapter 1:21. And you that were something alerted an enemy in your mind by wicked work, yet and yet and now had in a reconciled. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you see that? Thank you, Holy Spirit. The enemy allowed this man, this Adam, who to have the Eve, he transmit his body into sinful flesh. As it said in the book of Genesis chapter 6, verse 3, I mentioned all the Bible first because I wanted to go through it again. And also Romans chapter 6, verse 12, which a, a affair that contained the three parts of the man to align him away from God. He put him away from receiving from God. Number four, God came to redeem from sin. God in his plan, he has already made this thing, which is the key of humanity, of human being in the earth. God came to redeem us from sin. So my father did not determine God's or detail God's fulfilling. His original plan, it does not hold it. He still come on the earth and his plan that I will come on the earth to redeem them. He become a man, Jesus, in the book of John chapter 1, verse 1 to 4. Let me quickly read it. I love that verse. Some will not be using all the verses, but I just want us to write all those Bible verses. In the beginning was the world, and the world was with God, and what was God. The same was the beginning with God. All things are made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life. I love it. And the life was the light of a man. Amen. Amen. And the light shined in the darkness, and darkness compared it not. That's so amazing, so powerful. Then on the, he died on the cross. To redeem us, as it says again in the book of Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7, it took away our sin and bring a man back to his kingdom. Bring a man to have connection with him. Look at that. Finally, in restoration become the life-given spirit back. The spirit that the man lose, the man neglected. He have, if you look at those key, you understand the fulfillment of humans on this earth. Hallelujah. Amen. It becomes the life-giving spirit so that it will bring us back in his in his uh in his presence, unchangeable God. The enriched in life himself into my spirit. I want you to write first Corinthians chapter 15, verse 14, and John chapter 20, verse 22. Again, John chapter 3, verse 3. If you can read it's fine, but there's a lot of Bible verses. I just love to say to read it down. And when he said this, his brethren on them and said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost, whosoever sin ye remit, and they remitted unto them, and that's whosoever ye retain, they are retained. If you also read First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 14, you understand this more. And John chapter 3, verse 
says, if you want us to read, we can read it. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. Yes. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Look at it. Amen. It's number six. Mass regeneration. Man's regeneration. Now that a man becomes the life given spirit, man can now receive God, God's life, into his spirit. The Bible calls it regeneration. If you look at the first Peter chapter 1, verse 3, and John chapter 3, verse 3. Hallelujah. All these Bible verses is very good so that you can. Jesus understand. answered and said unto him, Yes. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Yes. Except the man be born again, Yes. He cannot see the kingdom of God. Except the man be born again. So man regenerates through Jesus Christ to receive life back. So man needs to repent to God's own way, to God's own plan, to God's own understanding, to God when He creates the man on the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is the way, is the way. To to God. The book of Acts chapter 2 verse 21. I want us to write it down. And also the book of Acts chapter 16 verse 31. Let me quickly read one of it. You can write it down. It's very good. And this said, yes. believe on the Lord Jesus to be in the first genesis the last one is understanding that you are sinner understanding that you are sinner no 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 sorry number six is not understanding so when we read after the reading of this you understand that you are sinner so number six is god full salvation god full salvation after regeneration a believer needs to be baptized you can see all the keys so when we just say I'm going to church without understanding all the four keys, I'm telling you we are we are in the wrong path. So after the generation, a believer needs to be baptized, as it says in the book of Mark chapter 16, verse 16. Then God begin the life long process. Boy the spirit himself as life from that believer into his soul. The book of Ephesians chapter 3, verse 13. I'm going to read that place. I want to read that because I, I'm going to go into the creation now. The book of Ephesians, chapter 3, verse 17. That Christ may dwell in your heart by faith. That's, that's it. That ye being rooted and grounded in love. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We need Christ to dwell in us. Christ, which is God himself, to dwell in us, which is the process called transformation. Transformation. Which the process is called transformation. As it says in the book of Romans, I'm so sorry, there are a lot of very verses. I just like it that way. Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Require human cooperation. You require human cooperation. God requires us in cooperation, in accepting him. To come up in him. Hallelujah. Let's quickly read the uh, Revelation chapter 12, verse 2. I just like all those Bible verses so that we can get the points before. Yes, sir. And she being with child Christ. Yes. Traveling in birth. Yes. And pain to deliver. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's look at also the book of Philip uh, Philip and uh, Philippines, chapter 12, verse 2. And chapter 2 verse 12 you have to accept and allow lord to speak into your soul until his desire for feed until his desire for feed we have to allow god speed his word in our soul until his desire because he has desire that he want to accomplish in a human field a human being finally as jesus christ returned god will fully saturate the believer body with his own life called glorification you won't be empty anymore or damaging each part which is the body the soul and the spirit he will saturate everything it is the full salvation of god to return his glory back to us so you won't feel the emptiness of who he is or who you are on the earth you will be able to
to fill and saturate with the life of God instead of you. That is the full salvation. Now let's go to the creation. The creation itself. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's go to fruition. We say we already mentioned some of the key that God has a plan, and the plan is to create his own people, to make us in his own image. Hallelujah, somebody. When you look at as a human being, we understand in the life that we are living that nothing can satisfy human being. I'm telling you the truth. Nothing can satisfy human being. Not money will satisfy you enough. There will be always testing of one thing, particularly where and quite I mean, where did I come from? Who I am. When you are asking that I need to go to school, you still finish the education, but you are still not satisfied. Yes, no matter what it is, even people in higher places who have the opportunity of getting the money, they're still not satisfied. That is why you see they are looking for more power. Maybe the power will be the solution, but they still not get it. Because money can never satisfy human beings. Not education, not what you material things can satisfy you. Hallelujah. Because the purpose of existence on this earth is not of your own. Hallelujah. It's of God that something surely lose from your soul. Something is away from your existence. As something that is needed to return back to you. So you have to understand the fully purpose of your existence on the earth. If you can't you know, if you can't get it, you lost the soul off to your enemy. But thinking of what the materials will satisfy you, <laughs> but thinking material things will help your life. No way. No way, my brother, no way, my sister. For you to be able to fulfill the purpose and enjoy the peace of God. Life give it to you. You have to contain what is God in you. You have to understand the creation. You have to understand what you are made of. Who made you? Where you came from? No success can satisfy a man. Hallelujah. Why? The mystery of creation of human being life is mystery eating. Many don't understand this mystery behind human being. So the only key, as I mentioned, and the key. That we need to connect with us. Hallelujah, somebody. Is the key to connect with Him. Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit. Help me, O oh Lord. The holy key to unlock this ministry is the way of God. The chosen way of creation. He know before we are made, He creates all this by Himself. He knows there are many ways in creation. He knows there are many ways. That is why we see. What the science are doing today. That is why we see many science are recreating this transgender, being a man from woman, uh, from man to a woman, from woman to a man. Because there are many ways of corruption. But when God chooses his own way, he understands that it was the perfect way to do. He chooses the best way. And that is the way that is good with him. Within the infinity of fullness of possibility, there are countless. The countless way of progression in him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Which is mighty God he is. But God chooses way. He chooses the way of power of this world. He chooses the power of world. He look at all the possibility into in the finish of who he is. He knows there are many ways, but the only way that he could choose to create a human being is the power of his word. He know that it was good and it was good in the sight of him himself. He had conceived the blind before the foundation of the earth. Elohim at the feather is found through his attributes. When we look at the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse uh, 26 to 27, especially 27, he created a man in his own image. He said he made a man and a female which is the attribute of God. The father, he has the attribute of being a father. He has the attribute of being a mother in him. I want us to be in the spirit. And what I don't, I know that many of these things does not fish detail in the church because we are. I would say uh, we are polluted with our mind. Let me put it in that way. In that way, because we don't want to say some of the words because the enemies have injected the seed 
in the Genesis. It said, that God created a man in his own image. In the image of God, he made him male and female, created him dead. But one soul, one body, one spirit, one being, one person, Adam, was created in the God image. And the God image, which is Elohim himself, had to activate his plan through his attributes. His attributes of male and female in one being, in one spirit, in one God himself, oneness. He understands the oneness. That, that is why he called the brother of Jesus to be oneness with him, to be united with him. There's a mystery behind it when we set the church to join together in unity. There is power in it. He understands the attitude of who he is as a man and a female. He needs to activate in it. Hallelujah. He created the mother home in himself, the house of wisdom. The mother home where the creation is, he made it by himself. He collided with himself, with the female part of himself, the masculine of himself. He collided with it. He made the house of home by himself. Where is the house of wisdom? House of knowledge. House of learning where the laboratory of God himself. The omniscience creates the laboratory where he produced. Hallelujah, somebody. I know it's so difficult, but we need to swallow it. We don't need to make any more in this generation. The age of the church today, I will tell you, we don't need meek. We have been feeling meek every day. That is why we lose our we lost our identity. We have been feeding meat every day. That is why we lost the identity. We are doubting God. The enemy bring the spirit to our heart to hit us again. That how can God create a human being? Because we lost the ability of coming up higher in the spirit. That is why he does not plead with anyone in the flesh. He wants us to meet with him in the spirit. Connect with him. Come up higher. That he will reveal the ability of who he is. He activated the female part of himself. He moved together, he collided with him, and he started creating. He created the great problems himself. He created the home. When I say home, it's like a womb of a woman where the creation is, but it's bigger than that. It's, 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 it's a spiritual divine place of his own mighty, mighty God himself. It has a name. It's like a physician's place where the science makes things to mix things and create something. They create a lot of things, bacteria, medicine. They create human beings that just they get somebody from woman to man. Look at that. God knows that's power in creation, but he chooses himself the power of word to create human beings. He said, let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be, and it's word. God does not introduce the sexual of man in, in a woman, but Satan introduced that through the tree of knowledge that led to death. When God is talking about sexual intercourse, he was not talking about every sex that we are thinking of today. He's talking about the soul collide together as the male and female. And we start saying, I need this to happen, and it's happening to me. I need that to happen, and it's happening to me. That is what is it, but without it, with, with, with our own understanding, we cannot understand it. We need the Spirit of God to dwell in us, to collide with us, to meet with us, so that we can understand the mystery itself. So, but within the house, there was many houses. Look at that. Within the house that God created, there are many houses. Elohim created the mother home himself. He was everywhere at the same time. There was nowhere that he was not able to be. Hallelujah. There was no anywhere that he was not able to be. He started to allow more space for himself to be. Hallelujah. He wants other space for him to, to start correcting his own things. He moved in a space by himself. Sometimes people say, where is God before the creation of the earth? He, before the light, before the darkness, he was himself. I'm going to talk about the Bible, say the bold. I'm going to talk about it, but we, I just want to understand, all us to understand this. When we go to Genesis chapter 1, verse 6, say, He performed infinity light. When he dwelt, he dwelt in oneness with the attributes. He embraced the attribute to make his own attribute at one. Look at that. For the purpose of creation, creativity is expansion. Hallelujah. Creativity is expansion in know in oneness, in oneness with him through the oneness of his attribute in the center of the void. He starts speaking. He spoke, he said, the 
holy word to start coming out of him. He understood his plan to bring divine plan on the earth. He has to bring the attribute together. As he said in Genesis chapter 1, verse 27, God embraced the formula of male and the female and male attribute in divine intercourse in life, physician, and chemistry. Apple just that day. That is why we call him omniscience. That is why I call him myself. I say he is a physician. We just know a little bit of who he is. We will look at how the science understand this even more than we in the church today. The science understand this. They get it right, but in the wrong way. Hallelujah, somebody. I will go further and let you know that the church are not ready to swallow this world. I'm telling you, the moment that the church understands the mystery that I'm saying today, you will understand in the oneness of the body of Christ. Even Jesus was saying in the sight of him that he wished us to be as his father. He said, let them be as I am with you, Lord. When we are able to unite, we understand we won't cry for who is our president. We will bring them down because we understand the attributes of our father inside of us. I won't be annoyed to go to redeem church because what? I know I'm going to seek God then. I won't be feeling bad of going to win and no matter what the name of the church is, I will be feeling okay to go there because they are serving the same God as I serve. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. They say Adam and Eve ate apple. <laughs> they say they had apple. But it was sex. It was physical sex. It was bodily sex. The serpent introduced that in another way that God see that has many ways of creation. He introduced them to him because he has his own plan. Hmm. Elohim wanted it to happen. The infinite way Elohim tried, he wanted to be the father. But you cannot be a father without mother. But the spirit, there was no way to allow a man to go in a woman. But the serpent introduced that to the physical human being. It was the power that was created in us, means the only intercourse of God. I'm going to say that was mission not to open this world. But this formula are the only way that was good to God. The formula that God wants us to say, when we need things, we say it with his word. I wanted to have a child, and the child started happening. I wanted to go to London. I was able to find myself in the second day. That is why you see Asia was able to attend to people across the world in the same time. Because time and season was only behind the universe. But outside the universe, there was timeless God. There was endless God. All Less God, ageless God. There's no time there. He was the head with time. He was the foundation. The earth was billion years before he created it. Hallelujah. He created, he created him. He embraced the sacred, the holy intercourse with him. The female lines and the masculine life become the supernatural light of a Elohim called Jah. Hallelujah. I don't know if you can swallow that. It's so deep, right? It was the light. God is the light. I'm going to describe that. He is the light. If you need anything, if you want me to go back, I can go back. That's, do you understand, you understand that? Yes. He embraced the sacred intercourse, which the female light, the masculine light, become the supernatural light of Elohim online together. Called Jah. Hallelujah. In the original condition of Jah, the Elohim, the male and female, who is Jah, Jalah. Hallelujah. His plan, and he has to have children, sons and daughters. The first daughter, the second daughter, became on the earth just as his own image. <laughs> the lights. The female light, the male light, which is the masculine light, the female light. He brought
brought the image of Adam, the daughter and the son, for life in one body. Moving in one body. Hallelujah, somebody. Great of Elohim, God himself, in form of masculine light, and also the female light in all Jah Elohim. The plan was engraved with God himself to rule within this plan. God the transcend detail himself. Even outside of his mother, uh, the mother oven, the heaven is outside the mother oven. He created in the second place by himself. God anointed with the water of life, which is the tree of life. He gave to Adam to himself through the light of Elohim himself. For God so loved the world, <laughs> he gave us his only begotten son as heart of mercy to redeem us back when this devil, the Lucifer, the Satan, introduced creation on the earth in another way through the knowledge of darkness. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I will tell you, Christ is still countless crucified in the church. We are still killing him. By denying his word, by accepting the word of God, by moving in his word, we are denying him again. You may ask me why. We are denying him. He crucified many times. Word of endless. We were created as life spirit being to occupy the space with God. Human being was, was uh, created as life spirit. Our form that God as image was a light. God was light. And inside that light, he has the attribute of male and female. And he created as light. We are the light of God. Because he is light himself. He was the light living in a space. And he wants to create more people in that space. Ay, 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 ay. If you need me to explain, please let me know. Sorry? Yeah. Created as a last people to live on the earth. To live on the earth. He created us as the last spirit to live or to occupy the space with God. Because we, he created the space that was so that were dead, we were light, and he's sending us on the earth every every time. That I want to say that it's been idleness, the soul that came out of him. So we occupy occupy the space with God. He's sending us down every day, every time. People are coming and going. That's a mystery of that. So what I want us to know is that church should stand up in our sleeping into, to, I mean, to allow our ability of God not to fail anymore. When we understand the ability of creation, we will know that we are sleeping. We know that something is wrong with us. We embrace what the serpent is still introducing to us in this day. The serpent is still introducing the preaching that he preached to Adam. The preach that he preached to Eve. We are still embracing it even till now as a body of Christ. The same level God is demanding our sacrificial offering through worship. Giving the enemy is doing the same thing to take the bride of Jesus out of God's presence. His aim is to pollute every single seed of God. But thank God Almighty for His grace and the revelation. As it said in the book of Ephesians chapter 6, that our battle is not a physical. He said we are battle the higher principality. I'm going to go there to quickly read it. In the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 16. The book of Ephesians chapter 6, let me quickly read it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Verse 16. Thank you, Jesus. Above all, taking the shade of faith, where ye shall be able to quench all the fairy darts 
of the wicked and the, and the amen of the salvation and the word of the spirit, which is the word of God. Pray always, all prayer, supplication in the spirit, and watch thereof unto it all perseverance and supplication of all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me that I may open my okay. Verse 12. So we must not against, against flesh and blood. Yes. But against principalities. Yes. Against power. Yes. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. That's it. Against spiritual wickedness. In higher places. places. Look at that. It let us to know that we are not just here. We can't just relax. The same serpent that introduced Eve to sin and Eve introduced to Adam. Is still preaching the same message to the church today. Introducing the gay, the lesbianism, different kind of doctrine that is out of the creation plan of God. The same, the same Lucifer enemy, the serpents, is still bringing the bride of Jesus gradually out of God's presence. His aim is to pollute us, every single seed of God. His aim is to take us to able to receive that salvation I mentioned to you. His same God and Lucifer want us not to understand the mystery of God in our heart, in our heart, life. He doesn't want us to understand the mystery of human existence on the earth. The age we are in is not of the most, is one of the most dangerous age of in this planet. Where darkness took many places, many souls occupied many spirits, injected them death. Look at that. And this is not normal. It was speak through many people. There are people who are ready to eat your soul out of you. There are many who in the spirit know that your blood, which is the life of God instead of you, are their own food. Look at that. That is where they enjoy. The serpent introduced the way of shortcoming to them so that they can acquire the material things of the earth. It's still preaching to them. Yeah, yes, we will go. God said, God and God and Dharma of his own. But the enemy is still introducing them that God said this, but I will tell you, God, you can have it without even God. The same way he preached. To Eve, that God said, do not eat of this tree. For the day you eat it, you become like God. So the same tree, the bride of Jesus, the people of the world, are dippling themselves in. That is why we find in ourselves what the condition of the world is going today. Because we are deeply in darkness, and the darkness overshadows the earth every day, every night. And this generation has the most dangerous time ever. It's the age that is the most dangerous that we as the bride of Jesus need to return back to the glory of God. We as the children of God need to understand the moment that we are in. To not be enticed with what we see with our physical eyes. To be able to embrace the courageous power of God in us to move through the blood of Jesus, so that we can acquire what we need. He has created that oneness in us. He has created that open the laboratory where you are able to get what you need. All what who are deceiving you, you sow your soul to the enemy to embrace what you need on the earth is the wrong doing, my brother and sister. It's the wrong way. That are what in God. You can acquire the material things in God. You can have gold and the diamond in God. That is where you understand the peace that you are in. You see many people acquire the wealth from the Lucifer, from the darkness side. But they have no peace. They can walk on the road. They can move. They are afraid because they know instead of them are dark. Their eyes are not pure. Many leaders across the world knows their eyes are not pure. They rule 
the nation with the role of the instruments connected with the darkness in the way that God sees was not good for him. He chose the way it was good in the sight of creating human beings and is ready to feed us according to what we need because he made us in his own image. The light of God, he made us to occupy the space. So when I see some churches are not preaching the way it's supposed to be, I won't have not. Well, I'm not. Uh, it's not. I'm not surprising in that way. Why? Because the enemy, which is the Lucifer, understand the word of God. You understand the word of God. So when you go to church, when you are not able to discern where you are going, there are churches where it's of God. There are churches that is foundation of it is of the darkness. True, where God know that it is not right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hmm. Jesus, thank you, Lord. We are born in the flesh, not just for us to hear alone or to eat alone, not to go to school alone. You are here to ask as God on the earth to worship God, to have dominion in controlling all what is what are around you. You are not just an ordinary person to be here, but control of any human being. Human being does not have control over you as a bride of Jesus. Human being does not have the right to control you. You are meant to choose who should rule your nation. Oh my God. If the bride of Jesus understands what I'm saying, you will understand that you are meant to rule the nation, not the nation leaders to rule over you. They legalize what they learn from the darkness and allow you to live on it according to their masters, according to the same master that explained and preached to him. He preached the same thing to Adam. Adam fell because of that. And the same serpent is still preaching through some of the leaders. And the different soul of the bride of Jesus are falling down. They could not find the solution they need from church. They look for the world so that they can get the material thing, but they forgot the power of creation of their existence on the earth. The enemy attacks them the way he brought Jesus up. He said, I will give you this world. But they have forgotten it was not showing Jesus Christ the world in the physical. It was showing him in the spirit that I will give you the wealth. Because why? He has it in his hand. It was the one that God gave in charge of it. But God, as you are made in his own image, Lucifer meant to deliver what is in hand for you. Because why? You are made as his image. You are made as his image, as light. God is light. Adam was made as light of God. He said he made and female. The light of male and female was formed as Adam himself, which have appearance of God in him, which have the dominion of what the world can say. Adam was able to give names to everything on the earth. Adam was able to control the sun, control the moon, control the water, control the ground, control the atmosphere according to his need. God and Zama was dancing. But he was able to control them by his word of God through him. So why do we have to depend on the illuminates, on courtesy, sorcery, witches, why do we have to embrace them? Why do we have to be in courts in darkness? It is the flesh of a human being. It is taking the blood of human being. Because the enemy understands the mystery of the blood. He knows how important blood is, is to God. He always turns things in other another hour against the word of God. Because God goes through his plan and he sees that this my plan is the holy way that is good. In Luke 
at it in all his creation, he finds his good and he chooses for us. Where are the generation of the seed of God on the earth who are able to say no to it? Who are able to build themselves in that form of that God, that spirit being that won't cry, that won't shout, that won't live a soul to the enemy? Where is that people of God like Elijah? Where is that people of God like Enoch? Where is that people of God like Moses? Where is that people of God like Peter, like Ephraim, like Moses, like Paul, like John? That said, I will not give up on my God. He was thrown in the pit of the uh, drop of oil, out oil, the great senses of us. The same God showed his miracle. The oil was cold as warm water. He does not feel the effect on him. Because he knows what he believes. How many men and women of God who understand this and say, I'm not going to bow down for any leaders that does not serve the same God with me. I am not meant to be ruled by them. I am meant to rule them with my own word. I am meant to transform my generation back to the kingdom of God. I am meant to bring them down. I'm meant to speak that word of God. No matter what I'm going through right now, no matter what I see, no matter what the world is showing me, no matter how bad it is in the world, no matter what the enemy is trying to hit me with, I am not giving up on oh my God because I know the secrets of creation that is in me. I am not just ordinary flesh. I am contained of God instead of me, which is my spirit, my soul, was made at his own image. He made me in his own image before he took me in the flesh so that I have to be able to live on the earth. He said, Adam, I have to become a living being. A living being, me, he took part of this element of the earth and put the first Adam in him. Hallelujah. Which he created the body. The physical body, but my spiritual body instead of me, that is the target of God. That is his target of the enemy as well. Enemy is not a target of this body. He knows that this body is a source to attack the soul. When you see many of the, of the musicians in Hollywood are confessing of them selling their soul to the kingdom of hell. They are regretting of where they are today. They are regretting of what they have collected from the enemy. What about we, the bride of Jesus? What about we in the church today? What about we? We preach God, Christ, we preach Jesus, but it has no effect on us. Because why? We don't understand the mystery of the creation is having us. We did not have that. We don't. I love that Genesis so much. It's the beginning of all those. It's the beginning of who we are. It's the beginning of what God wants to be. Hallelujah, somebody. Oh, God, help us, Lord Jesus. Help us, Holy Spirit. We are lost. I pray that God will bring us back. I'm telling you, as a bride of Jesus, your blood is full of prosperity. It's full of glory of God to obtain wealth, to obtain good health, to obtain good life. But there is power that behind you. There's power also behind who you are. That is fighting who you really are. That is ready to suck you out of this physical body. This enemy that we are fighting, it doesn't have pity of anybody. He coated the evil with good. He coated the good and the evil with good. You can say science can create sickness. Science can create medicine. The same science can kill. The same science can heal. Because why? It brought the good of it by recession. 
the attribute of God in other side that God know that the creation ability is there, but it's not good. With the government continue pumping billions of money to them. So science for research. Keep your research. Many are even in the school of science studying only when in their ready when when it's time to study virus, to study diseases, so that they can hand their own plan of destruction of the world to it. To anticipate the plan of the enemy on the earth. Some of our leaders, the world leaders, are participating. Drinking of the blood of innocent. I want to say it with all my mouth. I'm not biting my tongue. Hmm. They contributed. Every time when the time of election, you see souls, people are missing. Across the world, people are missing. COVID-19, they declare people are dying. Where are they bringing those people to? Where are they to now? Because they are full with the evil smile of the forefather, the serpent is still operating in that same to now. And they wanted to pollute the bride of Jesus with the aim of the pollution, departing us away from Christ. I'm saying it in connecting with God to be able to express this. I'm not of myself, I'm with God. Hallelujah. God wanted us to have, he wanted to have son and daughter of his own. Even can have access to. He gave me what he is to have the control, to have the ability to move on the earth. He created every realm by himself. His first realm, going to the higher of higher by himself. He made every being according to his world, according to his plan, according to his agenda. And he's still pleading that we should choose the world because he knows when that serpents will introduce you the knowledge of, uh, of evil, you will be able to correct in the wrong way. But I still want my people back. I have to come and to pay the price by myself. It was the world, and the world was in him, and the world manifested in flesh, come on the earth to pay the price, to share the blood, because there's mystery in his blood. He brought us back through his world, through his plan, through his agenda, but we still fail him, we still annoy him, we still slap him, we still reject him, we still crucify him, that Christ again, through rejection. Of this, this world. May God help us in the name of Jesus. That is why you see these things happen from the leaders going gradually to the community, to individual. You are surrounded. Not only all are not God's seed. There are people of God on the earth that see people of the seed of the enemy because he produced his own seed as well. He was able to produce his seed through Eve. Eve was the mother of the good and the bad seed. So we have two seeds on the earth. Some are the seed of God and some are the seed of the world. No matter how you preach from morning to night, they will never create that. That is why they satisfy in killing of human beings. The love it of killing and sucking the blood of human beings. It does not have any effect on them. They make themselves and the beasts of the world. Moving people, collecting people to initiate them in the cultism so that they will be able to make that standard to sell the soul to the enemy because the soul is a target of God, is a part of Him, is a light that He made Adam. So He wants us to depart, He wants to leave this body alone. God is not after this body, He's after these materials. It's after what he has predestinated before the foundation. It's a matter of what he knows that is belongs to him that came out of him. We are a son, we are sons and daughters of God. We are created.
created in his own image. We are of his own, not of this world. We are here for the purpose to have dominion, to live here, to occupy here. But the enemy does not give us rest. And when we understand the ability of God in us, we control, but we are not controlled because why? We are lack of the wisdom of God. I always say the word of God is beyond the theologians. I don't say we should not go and study, but that should teach the people how to be able to connect with God in the spirit, how to be able to understand in the spirit, how to walk in the spirit of God because there is context behind the text that we are reading. And it's needed to be revealed to us when we are able to understand the mystery of who we are as a human being. So the purpose of being on the earth as a human being is to contain God in us. It's to contain God in us. When you are able to contain God in you, my God Jesus, that is when you understand your purpose. That is where you know what you are to be on the earth. When you are able to contain God instead of you, which is your soul and the spirit, you are able to contain God. You will not be tired. You will not be able to pollute. You will not be able to deceive. The enemy knows Paul. He know Peter. He said that I know them. He know them. We recognize these people. I cannot go to those people because they will chase me away. How many of the brothers of Jesus that the Lucifer is sitting in their houses? Are you ready to be able to chase the kingdom of hell? Are you able to, to pull them out? That is why when we shout, we cry. We don't want Buari in Nigeria. We don't want Joe Biden. We don't want this parliamentary office president, blah, blah, blah. We don't, we are not able to push them because we don't know who we are. We lost the ability of dominion that is inside of us. These people sacrifice blood. These people sacrifice human being. These people secretly drinking, sucking the lives out of human being. And you cannot take them away with a physical ability. It's impossible. They are they become spiritual beings. They understand the spiritual thing. <laughs> they are operating in the spiritual world. Where Christians are operating in physical world. We go to church to feel the seats, not to hear the world, not to walk in the world. Not to digest the world and they control us. They won't be able to control me. It's too late for the enemy. I took myself out of it in the name of Jesus. I'm not the kind. I'm too big for them to handle. They can't handle me. Because why? I know the power of creation. I know who is in me. I know I'm not just this body that you're seeing. I operate in a spirit that is beyond their own understanding. I'm operating in a spirit that is higher than them. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for you to understand the mystery of you being on the earth. You have to contain God in you. When you're able to contain God in you, then you live in the ministry of dominion ability to bring what you need that is why the bible said look for the kingdom of god first that every other things will follow but we are lacking of every other things we are in age the enemy is pulling us it's like something is hitting us it's a spirit you don't have that patience of going into the god almighty to lay down on your knee to connect your soul with your spirit to your God. To ask. You find it so difficult. Jesus came on the earth to give us the ex example. He was always, always praying. That is why the disciples did not ask for power. They said, teach us how to pray. That is how you communicate what you need. 
That is how you communicate what you need. In the oneness. He said, if there is two, he doesn't say if there's many. But in the church, I mean of us. <laughs> the Bible says, if there's two, imagine God understands himself that in the oneness is the ability to move power. The unity of him can change your whole world. But how many of us in the church today, in a church, there are more than three. There are more than hundreds. There are places of thousands. You said touch your neighbor. No, that's not what I'm saying. No. It's beyond touch your neighbor. The word of God was manifested in us in identify the creation of women, the purpose of women on the earth. The purpose of women is to contain God. Contain God that your way will be prosper. Contain God, you get the material thing that is needed. Contain God, you will get in the reach of God. Contain God, you are able to acquire wealth. Contain God, you are good in full time as as assurance. You will be afraid of God letting any kind of injection vaccine anywhere. You are afraid because you are not fully in God Almighty. You are not fully in it. You are doubting that God. Deep inside of you, you are doubting the ability of that God. When you not doubt, when this body died, it will make the soul and the spirit, then you see the reality of who God is. this. You'll be sat asking for the second chance, which is not possible. Because the body already polluted went back to where it came from. I pray we don't want to be out of the body before we know the truth of creation of God. When we understand it now, we connect our spirit with God. That He reveal, He reveal what we are holding in our hands to us, not by ABCD, because education produces only students. Which the word of God produces is all seen, the preacher of the world. And the word was God that manifests everything we see with our physical eyes. God help us, Holy Spirit. I just want to stop here. Thank you, Jesus. I want us to open our mouths. Deep sachet in our hearts. If there's any way or the other way that we are empty, that God fill me, oh Lord. Deep your hearts and ask God, Father Lord, fill me, oh Lord. I don't want to go to heaven and know the truth about you. I want to be on the earth and understand who I am. There are many glory who are lost. There are many people who the death and deceived. Open your mouth and say, God, I want to know you more. I want to connect with you. Help me, oh Lord. I don't want to be in a surplus. Not just only because of the material things. Because I understand if I am able to understand who I am, I will control my environment. Holy Spirit, feed me, oh Lord. Holy Spirit, fill us with your word again. Fill your church, oh Lord. Fill your bride, oh Lord, again. Fill your bride with your word, Holy Spirit. We have been deceiving by the world leaders. We have been deceiving and with the same serpent that fell the humankind. But thank God for the grace that God so loved the world and he gave us his own flesh, the own son to redeem us, to bring us back. Lord, we need you, Lord Jesus. Have mercy on the bride of Jesus. Have mercy on the end time, honey, oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
I want to control my world, oh Lord. I want to control my environment. I just don't want to be a normal flesh. I want to be able to connect with my spirit, my soul. I want to move because I'm a son and daughter of God. My father is a great king. The lion of Judah. I am lion as well. If my father is king, I am king as well. As my father is a lion, I am lion as well. No human being can control me. I control my environment. I control my destiny in God with me. Holy Spirit, fill us once again, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. We thank God for this Sunday. As we are going today, Father Lord, be with us. Ancients of days, be with us, O oh Lord. Amen. Let this your world be like the seed that will go and grow in our mind, in our soul, that will reflect in our spirit being, that will move our body to connect with you, Holy Spirit, Lord. Feel us like never before. We want to stay with you. We want to connect with you. We don't want to be lost in this earth. We want to move the kingdom of hell to be destroyed. We want to bring your seed heart of the cage. Father, Lord, help us as we are going this week, O oh Lord. Put your word in us, O oh Lord. Bless our days. Bless as we are coming out and going in. Let your mercy fall on us, Holy Spirit. Because you are faithful, Father. We love you, Lord Jesus. Bless our week, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Let's share the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall join in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank <laughs> you.